Let us first create this water distortion effect. Drag your video to the timeline. Copy the clip by pressing Ctrl or Command plus C and paste it with Ctrl or Command plus V. Then go to Remove Background, Custom Removal, choose Smart Brush, adjust the thickness and mark the car. Then click Apply and copy this clip one more time. Go up to Effects, Video Effects, Distortion and find Solution Effect. Drag it to the middle clip and adjust the values on the right side. I call this second effect Hydraulic Pump Effect. Go to 1 second mark and cut the clip and then cut it one more time at 2 second mark. Then copy this clip, go up to Remove Background, Custom Removal, choose Smart Brush and mark the car. When it's done processing, click Apply. Then go to Basic and click Keyframe on Transform at the beginning of that clip. Go 5 frames forward and move X position to 30 and the same for Y position. Keyframe will be created automatically. Move your playhead to this position and just click Keyframe. Then go to almost to the end and set the X and Y position back to 0. Now we have to make transition smoother. Right click on the clip, show keyframe animation, click on X, highlight the first keyframe and click on auto curve up here. Do the same for the second keyframe and repeat that also for Y positions. Let's duplicate this clip. Go to the first keyframe and increase the X and Y positions to 60. Do that also for the second keyframe. Copy this clip one more time again and increase the X and Y positions to 90 on both keyframes. Now let's make another effect. Cut the clip again and copy it. Remove the background with Smart Brush and click Apply. Go to Basic and click Keyframe on Transform at the beginning of that clip. Go 5 frames forward and rotate it to minus 2. Drag it up a little and make sure you align the car on the left side like this. Move your playhead to this position. Click keyframe on transform. Then move it to the end and rotate it back to 0 and pull the car down to the start position. Then smooth the transition with keyframe animation for X, Y and rotate positions. Copy the clip and increase rotation to minus 4 degrees for the first keyframe and don't forget to align the car on the left side. Do the same for the second keyframe. Copy the clip one more time 
and again increase the rotation to minus 6 degrees for both keyframes. And at the end you should get something like this.